the forehead of your robot. Ever heard of Freddy Freaker? Like a lot of other 900 numbers, better known as premium rate numbers, in the 80s, it came with a commercial. However in 2007, this commercial only aired again once, because the phone number was fucking hijacked, though I'm not sure if the phone number hijacking is possible, because back in the 80s, something entirely different would happen when calling this number, compared to what the fuck happened in 2007. This is something I'll never ever forget. I thought March 7, 2007 was going to be a normal day like any other. I was watching Robot Boy on Cartoon Network. However after a few seconds, something I really wasn't expecting had happened. The screen suddenly cut to black. I probably thought it was a signal error, or the channel went into technical difficulties, but after two seconds, I realized it was not. The channel then suddenly started airing that fucking cursed Freddy Freaker commercial from the 80s. As soon as I saw that fucking yellow creature, I thought that he looked somewhat terrifying. The ears were far too big. It had a mouth lined with lots of teeth, and the inside of the mouth looked almost swollen. The most scary part of the creature was the eyes. They were large, glassy, and fish-like. But besides that, I honestly thought that the song used on the commercial was really good, and I found the creature dancing kind of funny. But I was still honestly a lot confused, by the fact that they were airing a commercial from the 80s. Not only that, but why would they start airing that damn commercial in just the beginning of a random Robot Boy episode? The commercial itself was just telling you to call a number you didn't even fucking know, and never stated a reason on why. However, I had thought that they were airing this commercial, because the number started to work again. I have decided to call the number, and this is where things get terrifying. I called the number, and waited for a bit, and it actually worked. However, I literally didn't hear anything but creepy breathing. I was starting to become scared, so I hung up the phone. I looked onto the TV, and realized that Robot Boy was back. I continued to watch the show, trying to forget what had just happened. But after a few minutes, someone knocked onto the door. I thought it was maybe my friends, but as soon as I opened the door, I was extremely shocked, to find out that there was a man dressed as the Freddy Freaker that entered my fucking house. How the actual fuck did that guy even know where I live? I immediately ran away to my bedroom. The man dressed as Freddy Freaker was chasing me. I just became more and more scared. I kept getting things and throwing all of these at him, but he would dodge all of these things I threw. I ran to my bedroom, got my pillows, and started hitting him with said pillows. But immediately after one hit, the man dressed as the Freddy Freighter grabbed the pillow, and hit my head with it, so strong that I fell onto my bed. He kept hitting me violently with the pillow, until my parents came in and called the police. This was the end of a traumatic experience. The man dressed as the Freddy Freighter has been arrested, and now he isn't gonna do harm to anyone for a long time. But never forget this, if you ever see the commercial from Freddy Freaker airing on TV again, I suggest you don't call the number. Even if the man dressed as Freddy Freaker was arrested, I'm afraid that now calling the number can now get another person dressed as Freddy Freaker, to go to your house and try to kill you. I'm glad he didn't have weapons such as knives or guns the day it happened to me, because if he did, I would be dead. I have done researching on this fucking commercial, and I found out that calling the number back would be something entirely different. You could make funny recordings, freaky messages, record rap tunes, leave a message for Freddy, hear about what's freaking, anything and everything. Now, what the fuck happened to this number? I honestly have no idea. But I'm never going to call this number again after what happened to me, and I suggest you also don't. I don't want to get anyone hurt.